511 Apex Pants. Truly the life of the pants party. <coughs> Look over here. Yes, what is it, Brick? I would like to extend to you an invitation to the pants party. Excuse me? The party, the pants with the pants. You know that was the joke I was gonna use. Seriously, when it comes to pants, I, I really love these pants and I never thought I'd be doing a review on pants, but literally everybody that I know wears pants. So I thought this might be fitting. And uh, I'm not that cool. I'm not like Instagram famous where people are like, Dave, what pants are you wearing? Dave, what shirt are you wearing? Click on my link to get this shirt and blah, blah, blah. I'm not that cool. Maybe someday. And I don't know, maybe I have to like widen the merchandising, you know, revenue of my likeness. But for now, I'm just going to tell you about which pants I've been really, really enjoying using for several years. And uh, hopefully, if you guys like them, you can check them out for yourself, or maybe you're looking for a better pair of range pants or whatever. My name is Dave Tim from Guns and Tactics. Thank you guys very much for spending a few minutes of your day checking out my review of the 511 Apex Pants. Now, I do have to give a quick shout out to Joe. Joe is one of my old partners, and Joe, if you are watching this, I owe you a huge thank you for turning me onto these pants. And when he first got them, I think I, I can't remember exactly what I said, but I kind of thought they were like silly looking or they weren't really like uniform like because uh, it was the dark navy version of these pants. However, I was told like, hey, you need to try a set. And literally when I started wearing them, they were the best way I could describe them. It's like wearing pajama pants at work. Uh, so I wore these 511 Apex pants. Thankfully, they came in dark navy and they look clean enough for the uniform, uh, but really they were more of a comfort, more of a utility. And I have to say, like by far, my favorite pants. Uh, and now I own probably eight different pairs. I, you know, I have a few of them here. So they come in grays, they come in tans, they come in various greens. Uh, my only complaint right off the bat is 511, you need to make them in multicam. I think if you made these pants in multicam, they would be hugely successful because of the comfort and the utility of these pants. All right. Uh, another thing I want to get out of the way is I'm not sponsored by 511. They're not paying me to make this review. In fact, I've bought all these pants and all my other ones. And yes, sometimes I would use a coupon code or sometimes I would use like uh, industry pricing or whatever. Like if I went to an instructor conference, there were coupon codes that were out there or online coupons or whatever. But I paid for all this stuff. They're not paying me anything. So let's pick a color that's a little more camera friendly. We'll just go with, I think they call this battle brown. But what I just all in all really like about the pants is the comfort. So we'll talk about the material and the material, I wanna make sure I get it right, is a 67% polyester, 33% cotton flex tack canvas with mechanical stretch, 6.4 ounce Teflon finish. But here's what it means in lay terms is there's a little bit of a stretch this way, right amount of a stretch where you want it in the knees, in the seat, in the thigh, it's just really, really comfortable. They don't look like stretch pants and they don't look like ripstop pants either. So if we get a nice close up of the material, uh, you can see that it's just a, a regular looking material, but it just has just a little bit of stretch. Now, speaking of material, what I like about that Teflon finish, now they're not waterproof, so they're not rain pants. However, you'll notice that the water just kind of beads right off. Now, yes, it'll kind of soak in there a little bit, but the majority of the water, actually I don't want that. Don't want that lens to get wet. The majority of the water kind of beads off of the pants, which is great. So for light rain, maybe an occasional splash or something like that, uh, the pants aren't gonna be soaked. Now, again, they're not waterproof and they're not a rain pant, but that was a really cool feature that I kind of appreciated when I was working the road wearing these pants or when I'm at the range teaching wearing these pants. Now, I wear these pants pretty much exclusively. So pretty much in every single one of my videos, that I can think of. I have a lot of B-roll footage I'll be rolling in because I wear these pants all the time. And even in the winter, I would put a base layer and then these pants, and for the majority of the time, uh, it would be just fine. Now, extreme cold, wind, rain, whatever, then you could throw on like an outer shell pants or whatever, but I have been really, really happy. So why am I so happy? Number one, let's just start at the top. Belt loops. One of my biggest complaints with several other pants is like little narrow dinky belt loops that either don't allow thicker belts to go through or they rip when you're trying to support it. So like uh, this is a Wilderness Gear trouser belt. It's kind of a thicker belt. It's about an inch seven five, but it can go in here no problem with room to spare. Plus we have nice double stitching down here. We have reinforced stitching on the loop. 
and all in all that stitching, I mean, these are just really, really solid belt loops. I am very happy with these. Uh, you could probably get up to about a two inch belt, which, you know, if you have like a thicker trouser belt, but this is a very sturdy belt and no complaints with that. So the belt loops are really good and they don't put them all obnoxiously around where you don't need them. There is one wider belt loop in the back. The only thing is I noticed on like some of my old work pants is that this area would kind of get chewed up from the Velcro from the duty belt, but that's like my only complaint I have with the belt loops. So belt loops good. It does have that comfort waist. So if we open up the waist, we do have more of that, that stretch material. Plus we have kind of a softer feeling fabric on the waist. So, uh, and a little bit of the stretch tabs here for that comfort. So if like you go to the Chinese buffet for lunch and you're like, oh, I ate a little bit too much, you know, the comfort waist will have you covered. And anybody that knows me working the road, every time I got to pick a lunch spot, I would always go to Chinese buffet because I just like it. But so a comfort waist is really cool. Great use of belt loops, reinforced. The button fly is a solid button. And then instead of just being sewn, it does have a piece of webbing securing the button. So I've never had a button ripped out on, you know, the dozens of these that I've owned over the years. So no complaints there. Zipper has been absolutely awesome. In the several pairs that I've had, I've never had a zipper issue, either with the main fly zipper or the cargo pocket zipper. Now on the inside, uh, there is an extra button there too, if you wanted to reinforce that. I did forget to touch on that. Speaking of comfort waste, there is one little hole right here, which at first glance you may think, uh-oh, they forgot to sew that shut. But the reality is you can stuff handcuff key, you can do whatever, you can kind of hide it in this area and then it goes in the waistband. So uh, there is that if you, know, you need to be an operator who operates operationally who might need to think about such things with pants. 511 does have a little, little small pocket right there. Now let's move to the pockets. And yes, uh, these pants are now a little soaked. We'll start with the back pockets because I really do like what they're doing with the back pocket. So we have a traditional pocket there. So you can put your wallet, you can put your, you know, whatever. But what's cool is that they also have an upper pocket here. Now this does fit a magazine. So if you want to put like an AR style mag or whatever, or for the guys working the road and you know, when I was working plain clothes or whatever, you can stick a pair of cuffs in this pocket and the cuffs just seamlessly go in here. Plus you can then stick your notepad, your wallet, whatever in the main pocket. I like that it has this little extra little back pocket for whatever you might need. And then it still has the main back pocket. So I thought that was a really cool utilization of pockets without making them too bulky. Moving to the front pockets, and you'll notice that I'm on the left side of the pants, which is important. I'll talk about that in a second. But we do have reinforced stitching in the opening of the pants. We have kind of this comfort material inside the pants, so they're aligned. I never had any issues with these tearing or ripping or anything like that. Then we get down to the bottom where you would typically have your knife or a flashlight or whatever, and you'll notice that there is a definitely a shape change. It kind of flattens out towards the bottom to make seating that knife much more you know, steady so the knife doesn't want to rotate and rock around. So I thought that was a nice touch. But wait, there's more. If we go to the inside of the pocket, we also have a little bit of reinforced material here where that knife would be. Now, the reason why I pointed out on the left side is there's a lot of work pants or tactical pants where they only reinforce the right side because 90% of Americans or whoever, you know, carry their knife on their right side or are right-handed people. But I like to carry not only a knife, but also a flashlight at times, or maybe two knives or a tool or whatever it might be, depending on you know, what I'm doing at the range, maybe a third flashlight, uh, one on my belt, two in my pockets, depending on what I'm teaching, if it's night classes. So for me, having these reinforced areas was really handy and a nice secure spot. And again, both right and left side, which I thought was really cool. The front pockets, they go down to about, you know, mid thigh pocket, give or take. So you can put your cell phone, you could put, you know, all sorts of different stuff in there, which again, just a, a nice touch. Moving down to the cargo pocket, it does have a nice YKK zipper and it does have this little flap up here to kind of keep the zipper protected. And then it does have a tone on tone zipper pull. So it doesn't, you know, it's not too obtrusive or obvious. And you can even just kind of shove that in there so it stays out of the way. Nice large cargo pocket area. But what I also like is inside, there are actually two other pockets sewn on the inside of the leg. And I would keep a tourniquet as well as my phone, or if you have like the minimalist wallet style or a notepad or whatever, you can easily fit these two items and it'll fit here and here. 
but it'll kind of be sucked in on the inside of the pocket towards your leg, and that way you could still put items above those items in the cargo pocket. And again, the cargo pockets didn't kind of, you know, gopher out, as I used to say. I had an old chief who hated cargo pants because everybody would look like gophers with a bunch of stuff, you know, st stuffed in their cheek or whatever, and these pockets bulging out. But that's not necessarily the case with these. They, they look pretty good, I think. Moving down to the knee, we do have reinforced gussets here. I think that's the right terms, gussets, with extra stitching and paneling. And going down all the way to the boot, they are more of a boot cut, straight cut, if you will. They're definitely not a slim cut, so I had no problems with the cuffs going over duty boots, winter boots, or whatever. And again, moving down, we have good quality stitching here. Uh, overall, the pants were really good. Now, if we go back up to the crotch, let's take a look at the crotch crotch shot, we do have this extra gusset here, which is kind of this diamond shape. And again, it is that same stretch material. So as you're moving, as you're grooving, you do have a little bit of that flex, but it gives you uh, extra room where you want it, where, uh, you know, where, where you might need a little extra room. There's a little extra room for flexibility. You don't have to worry about when you're like, you know, moving weird or whatever to have all of a sudden your pants, you know, scrunch up on your, on your junk. So yeah. Anyways, I really like that feature as far as comfort. Uh, even when you're wearing like a base layer or whatever, I thought that was great. So the cut of the pants with the extra crotch room is nice. And then what's cool is that that crotch room doesn't become totally obvious. Like the old BDUs that had like that big shape or whatever that reinforced that kind of saddle pad or saddle, I don't know what it was called, but it doesn't really scream that. So they're nice. You could get away with these in most environments, business casual, close. I think that is going to do it for these pants. And again, like I said, I have tons of different colors. I absolutely love these pants. They are super comfortable. They have held up really well. They're durable. They don't look uh, tactical operator-ish. They don't scream out. Like the old 511 pants back in the day were kind of that bigger, heavier, almost like a canvas-like material, and they kind of had that unique 511 look. And I like these a lot better. Now, as far as where they are made, mine say made in Bangladesh. Uh, and I'm not sure if all of them say that, so I'm not sure if they have, you know, different plants or whatever, but I know that is a, a question that comes up as well about as far as source goes. Pricing, MSRP is 85 bucks. However, you can get sales all the time if you sign up for their email list. Uh, otherwise, they do have some different promo codes going on there. I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can get 511 gear. Here's the deal. It doesn't cost you any bit of money. Uh, however, it does. we get a small kickback if you use that link and purchase something, and it just helps us keep the lights on, buy hard drives, all that other stuff. So if you use the link, we do appreciate it. Again, it costs you absolutely nothing. However, it does help us out, so I always do appreciate that. If you guys have any questions about these pants, go ahead and drop a comment in the section below. Or if you have a question about this or anything firearms related, you can email us at the email address show, which is the QA at gunsandtactics.com. And at the end of the month, we have a QA episode where I answer your question, plus we give away a prize. If you guys like the content, please like, share, subscribe. And if you want to consider supporting the channel, you can also check us out on Patreon. We do have different levels with different benefits, and you can go ahead and check that out. And we would appreciate any support that you are kind enough to give us. Thank you guys very much for watching and have a great day.